that's that's water, H two O. What's that? That's a that's just a carbon. We are getting some basic science education from Isabel Guimot in front of one of the many chalkboards located outside one of the Salk Institute buildings. It's not just a ground for for scientists, it's also a ground for education and training. In fact, five scientists who trained at Salk have won the Nobel Prize for their research, including its namesake, Jonas, who helped end the scourge of polio. Actually, back in the 50s, the mayor of San Diego was a polio survivor. So when he heard that Jonas Salk, who was in the Bay Area, uh, was about to found an institute, he actually invited him to come over to San Diego. After nearly 60 years, it's not only a national landmark, but rated one of the nation's top 10 building designs of the 20th century, overlooking the Pacific Ocean, but virtually hidden from public view. Inside is where hundreds of people from around the world are busily laying the groundwork to tackle issues such as aging, diabetes, and cancer. Amy Rommel is a brain cancer researcher. Because of the science that is starting here and that is going on right here at the Salk Institute, there's hope for cures to many of the ailments that either themselves or their family or friends are you know, undergoing. This Saturday is the one time of year the public can tour the science labs, talk with researchers, and participate in hands-on science projects.